we fight we fight a lot in life but people don't see it we just keep on fighting and fighting and fighting till we're exhausted and we all have been there and we and because of this judgmental society which doesn't even take us cuz some people who get be- the best grades are better people who are really socialized more are better people who are more naive not naive are better and maybe this world doesn't let us be naive like to get started with and people call us lazy for s- simple things even if we are just exhausted mentally physically i mean we all get exhausted but some of them just keep on going while some of them try to find a reason and some of them just live through the days until that comes upon them and we the most <laughs> wonderful thing is that we don't even realize that we do so we just don't because that's where what we're taught if we're sensitive we're weak if we're sensitive we are useless honestly you can't either be happy or you can't be sad if you're happy you co- you're known to be blessed because they don't know what happens in our lives and if we're sad we're just really moody sometimes you might be moody because you're exhausted depressed and just fed up and sometimes you just want a day off of life just want to be in your bed not know about anything just watch a nice movie eat something nice just have a day to yourself and we all feel so exhausted because in this cold world we are known to be useless or we are known to be used or we are just puppets of, of someone if they are not for girls if they are not perfect they get married for boys if they are not perfect they go to do labor that's what happens in the indian society that's what hap- that's what just happens and i have been really emotional on this intro and we'll get started here are signs that you're mentally exhausted not lazy the first thing you don't feel motivated have you even just tried so hard but you cannot just feel motivated it's like your whole motivation is lost it's like you just feel numb it's like you just don't want to live anymore you just don't find any motivation to live anymore you don't find a reason you don't find motivation to just go out there and live anymore it happens it really just happens you feel no motivation to chase your dreams you feel no motivations to just go out and better do relationships you are, you just have no motivation motivation to do anything honestly it feels sad it feels like oh my god i just i can't it feels like that we just have been there we all have been there the second thing you get easily irritated it's understandable really being there i mean if you're a feminist you're a psycho if you're a girl you need to get married if you're not the perfect human being after your tent you're going to get married and if you're a boy honey you're going to do labor if you do not get those perfect grades and be the perfect son you are you guys get it no one's perfect really for those people for those parents for those human beings who want the kids to be perfect no one is perfect no one is and there are some i know what to call them really right now i they just i know what they mean i don't just say if a boy is there if he doesn't get those perfect grades he needs they'll say you're going to go and do labor if it's a girl they'll say after your tent after you just finish middle school you're going to get shipped off 
to get married to some idiotic person who doesn't even earn anything. That's how it is. And honestly, it's okay to be get to get irritated because you often do. And cut this, you thingies talking about it. Honestly, it's like we can get irritated so easily because we are just so exhausted. Because the person is so exhausted of the of the society, of the parents, of the family, of every single person trying to eat them, they just feel exhausted. Of course, they feel exhausted <laughs> because every single person on this planet is trying to get them, catch them, and eat them. I mean, what do they get by just? I don't know. Because we want to fight, bro. Why do you need to be so mean to us? Yeah, because I just don't understand. And if I speak out now, I'm going to do. I don't know what they'll do to me. I don't know what they'll do to anyone. And it's okay to get irritated, honestly. Man, I support the people who get irritated. The third thing, you can't focus or concentrate because of that thing which is eating up you inside and you just feel really exhausted because of it. You cannot concentrate. And if, because of every single person is forcing you, man, I kind of just feel like this suicide person percentage is completely obvious. I think there are people who are just being so brave. I mean, day to day, the suicide percentage is increasing, but no one just even looks at it. Because people who did suicide are stupid. Or perhaps they just can't control their life. Right? I mean, really, bro. Because of this exhausting things, just which is happens inside the brain they just feel exhausted completely done with life that they cannot focus and concentrate on one single thing but our education system every single person want to con make you concentrate on every single thing while you cannot because you're exhausted with them mentally and physically but no one cares about your mental health it is pretty obvious pretty much it's obvious i mean even the suicide percentage i mean Every single person, I mean, one out of five people, one out of five teenagers is depressed in the US. And think about the world. It's the US. And how about you just think about the world? You know how many people are depressed? You don't know how many people are just completely exhausted with their life? That no one is happy. No one is happy. They got their own lives. They're sad, they can't just do it. But really, you don't need to force anyone. Bro. And that's it for today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And please leave a comment down below too.